And hello people, this is your host, Iridium Axel here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get T-Shock for Terraria, whatever the newest version is, they, upda they update it pretty fast. Anyway, so what is T-Shock? T-Shock is a third party server that you can use to play Terraria on, and pretty much uh, if you set up an admin account on it, you can cheat. You can spawn bosses, give yourself items. I use it for a lot of my videos just to make it clean and concise and quicker. That's how I always spawn my Eyes of Cthulhu for, like, the uh, best weapon series and stuff like that. So, how do you do this? First things first, open up your internet browser and go to tshock.co. Alright, here... Uh, currently it's Terraria 1.3.7, but if you're in the future, it might be different. So, you can hit download now, right here. That brings you to the GitHub page. You click T-Shock, uh, whatever it is, z dot zip. Um, I like saving mine to download so that I can easily transfer it. So I'm just going to minimize everything. Minima, minima, minimize. And done. All right, so open directory. I'm just going to move this guy to the desktop and make it a bit easier. So once here, you want to extract the contents from it. I have WinRAR, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, so just right click and hit extract files. Uh, files, consider yourself extracted. I have a folder, holder, folder. So I'll just plop it in there. Open the folder, holder, holder, for, for a little. Uh, this might take some, there it goes. I have no idea why Windows Explorer is lagging. Um, so, let me just... Let this start up, and I'll continue recording in a second once we're ready. All right, guys, sorry about that slide interruption. So, here we have the application, terrariaserver.exe. So, I'm going to go ahead and start this. Uh, just leave it for a second. It opens up this window. It'll add some things here. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose my most w used world. Just hit enter a whole bunch of times until it's ready. Um, Windows Firewall, if you're using that, will block it. Hit allow access. So, how do you access it? Well, what you're going to need to do is um, find out what your IP address is. One of those one of the ways to do that is by going to speedtest.net, I believe. Um, there's another way inside of your computer, but I'd rather not show my IP. So, yeah. Generally, what I do is I made a tutorial for this a long time ago uh, for a program called Evolve. And Evolve is a virtual private, serv uh, virtual private network, or at least you can uh, create virtual private networks to connect to with it. Uh, it's updating at the moment, but once that finishes, we're going to play Terraria, and I'm going to show you uh, a few things in T-Shock, how to just get set up and get right on the horse. Okay, Evolve is almost ready. Also, this video is in 60 FPS. Tell me if you like that. It's nice and fancy, I know. Ah, <sighs> okay, great. So, it's almost fully loaded. Uh, okay, so this is my main party that I use most of the time. You just join it, and so as soon as you connect, it gives you your virtual IP. So you can copy that IP address, and then, let me just open my games folder. Fun. All right, guys, sorry about that slide interruption. So... Uh, here we are, and things are great. Um, 
go into multiplayer, you'd hit join via IP. Lag spike. Okay. Uh, select your character and input that IP from earlier. Server port. Yep. Exactly what you set it to. Receiving tile data. And you are here. I'm getting quite a bit of lag from normal. Running at a constant 30 FPS. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to shift it over to... Uh, for some reason, it does not seem to be recording at the right frames. So just hold on one moment, and I'm going to fix that. Alright guys, I am hoping I fixed it, maybe. I'm running at about 50 FPS. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the basics of T-Shock. Um, so, let me get back into the desktop recording mode, and I'll show you what to do there, and then what you do in-game. Alright guys, back on the desktop. Here, they say, T-Shock notice, to become a super admin, join the game, type slash off, and then a number, and... Uh, then that that will become make you become a super admin. So if I can open T Shock, it does. They do not seem to have the um, auth code. So you have to type that in in game. Uh, four three one three two five zero. Four three one three two five zero. Four three one three three two five zero. Alright, I'm going to type that in in-game, and then we're going to be super admins, and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Alright guys, sorry about that. Uh, so I'm in-game, typed, I typed up the authentication thing. Now, what you're going to do is slash, uh, slash user, add, um, I'm going to add Iridium Axel. Just make the t password. I'm going to have the password as T Shock, then space super admin. So that means if I type something like slash spawn boss I, it spawns the I of Cthulhu. So you can spawn up to 200 bosses or mobs at once. Uh, but you can't have 200 of each at w once, just because of how it works. Um, they have a whole bunch of different commands. I'm going to leave that to you to explore for yourself. If you want to look at the T-Shock website, I'm going to leave that in the description below. But for now, I thank you all for watching an absolute ton. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye Hold on, let's go. Let me go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh gosh, that was that was quick. All right, see you guys next time. Bye bye. And hello, people. This is your host, Siri, and today I'm going to be showing you.